Welcome back everyone, it's Electrified 90s and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you save Black Railer from the Scoia'tael Executioners. So as you can see you've got the Scoia'tael Executioner, one on either side. So they're immobile after five turns, on turn start they destroy Black Railer so as long as either of these two are present Black Railer will die. Um, and what what I've done is I've made sure I've got stray slingers and um, we've got a different deck this time so we don't really have the Lyrian Arbalus anymore to be able to deal direct attacks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a stray slinger whereby when they move three cars to the other route if any were units they damage them by two so I've got one two three four of those which should be enough for me to damage these guys. I've also got Ike or Eek um, who will be able to damage any other unit by the strength of his um, of himself. So let's go. I've hit the white of an eye from half a league away. Uh, we also have uh, Meave, so her leader card is Warhammer, so we could move any card to the top of the deck and strengthen it by three. So what I'll do is I'll move another Stray Slinger to the top. We end our turn. So as you can see, it's counting down, so once it gets to zero, they will execute Black Railer. Okay, so again, we're just going to use they are, him. Easier they are to target. There we go. So just need one more. So as you can see, every time our ally is taking damage, Ake has gained two strength. Thing about slings, they hide well. There we go. So that's eliminated the two executioners. Now we just need to make sure that we have enough higher more higher points than the opposition at the end of this. Now we will see who is weak. The elves, scatter them. They block our path. Hey. There we go. So now we've moved Black Raider onto our side and we've gained victory. I hope that helped you to be able to prevent Black Raider from uh, being executed. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you very much.